Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Wagner, and today I'm going to be talking about herpes. Um, it's a commonly misunderstood and very upsetting diagnosis, um, and so hopefully I can simplify it a little bit. So, uh, herpes is a broad term for a number of different viruses. <clears throat> the ones that we're mostly worried about in gynecology, and also the most common ones, are um, HSV-1 and HSV-2. HSV stands for herpes simplex virus, which is a longer name for herpes. Um, now, number one is classically oral herpes, okay, and HSV-2 is genital herpes, okay. So, um, with HSV-1, it's very, very common, commonly um, called a cold sore that people have. Uh, about 60% of the population has it. People usually get it as children. Sometimes they get it as they're older, but it's, it's extremely common. Um, more worrisome and upsetting is the uh, type 2 herpes diagnosis, genital herpes, um, and there's a couple of reasons uh, why uh, it needs to be well understood. Um, one of them is that it's not curable. So in other words, if you have a diagnosis of herpes um, and you have an outbreak, you're never going to get rid of the virus. Now, there are things you can do that we talk about later to decrease the amount of outbreaks that you have and decrease the ability to spread it to another person, but you're never gonna completely get rid of the virus. Um, so herpes one, which is the oral herpes, um, can actually, you can actually get that genitally. So from oral sex and that kind of thing, you could get an HSV-1 outbreak genitally. It does not work the other way around. So you will not get an HSV-2 outbreak orally. So if you have cold sores, it's HSV-1. If you have herpes outbreak genitally, it could be one or two. And again, we'll talk about the differences later. So let's talk about what it looks like, what it feels like to have a herpes infection. So what I usually explain to people is what a cold sore is. Most people know what it is, it's a blister, it can be uncomfortable, it can be painful, it takes a while to go away. Same thing genitally. So normally people come in with what we call a primary infection, which is their first outbreak. That is most often the most painful, the most uh, severe outbreak. Usually there are lots of um, uh, blisters, what we call herpetic lesions around the vulva. It can be actually uh, down towards the anus, it can be on the cervix, lots of different places. But it's often painful, it's often associated with uh, low-grade fevers, and some people feel flu-like symptoms with it too. Um, so, it, like I said, the primary first uh, outbreak is usually the worst. Again, when you come in and you have symptoms of this, there's two things that we can do in order to diagnose it. The first one is blood work. Okay, and the second one is a culture. Okay, so the blood work tells us whether you have antibodies, whether you, your body has basically been exposed to the virus. The second one is a culture directly from the lesion. It tells us, which is the most specific, so that will tell us exactly what's going on. That will also tell you whether your outbreak that you're having right now is type 1 or type 2. As I mentioned before, there's primary and there's secondary outbreaks. So the primary outbreak is the first outbreak you have, the secondary one is outbreaks that you have along the way for various reasons. Now some people have more outbreaks than others. Some people have a single primary outbreak and never have an outbreak again. Other people will have one every month, every six months, every year. It's very variable. Some people um, have what we call prodromal symptoms prior to their outbreak. So they'll notice some tingling or some pain in the area and then they'll get blisters and they'll know it's an outbreak. Um, other people don't get anything prior to getting the blisters. As I discussed with HSV-1 and 2, um, when you get HSV-1 genitally, there tends to be less future outbreaks genitally um, than HSV-2, okay? This, this is, tends to be more severe. So what's the treatment? Again, we don't cure herpes. In other words, you can't get rid of the herpes virus, but we can shorten the course of it. So in other words, if you get painful lesions, what we can do is give you medication so that instead of having it for 10 days, you have it for three or four days. So we give what we call Valtrex, okay? It's a pill, very few side effects and things like that, but we give it to you during the course and that will shorten the course. 
The other thing that's important to talk about, um, especially with HSV2, is how to avoid having future outbreaks. So one of the big things is to take care of yourself, low stress, um, good diet, things like that. The other thing is that you can take Valtrex on a daily basis. You can take one pill a day, and that will do two things. That will um, decrease the amount of outbreaks you're having, but it will also decrease the amount of what we call viral shedding. So it will decrease the amount of virus that you can potentially pass to someone else. So one thing that's so troublesome about um, herpes is that, uh, especially herpes type 2, is that without having a blister, without having an outbreak, you can pass the herpes virus to another person. So you could be with somebody that either doesn't know that they have the virus or that doesn't currently have an outbreak and they can spread the virus to you and then you have the herpes virus forever. Um, so you have to be very, very careful. The other thing that's important to know about it, and we'll talk about this in another video, is that you're not protected against things that pass skin to skin like herpes with condoms. So certainly condoms help and you should use them all the time, but you're still having skin to skin contact um, even while using a condom. So you can get herpes even while using a condom. So very, very important. So to wrap up, there's two types of herpes, one and two. You can get type one genitally, but you don't get genital herpes orally. So herpes type 1 is a more common but less severe type of herpes. Um, herpes type 2, it's genital, it um, tends to be more severe when you have a genital outbreak. You'll never get rid of herpes, but we can control it with Valtrex. We can shorten the course, and also by taking daily Valtrex, we can decrease the amount of outbreaks you have, as well as the amount of shedding and the ability to pass it to another person.